Welcome to Speak 79's Gaming Network. I am Speak 79, and today we are doing an achievement walkthrough for Minecraft Xbox One Edition on Xbox One. So, first thing we want to do is go into uh, World Options, and we are going to enter in the seed code 39647209436459. And at the end of the video, I will post the code on the screen too, so you guys can see it if this is too small for you. Also, in your difficulty settings, you want to make sure that you have it on survival and not peaceful and that it's on easy or higher. First couple times I did this, I was wondering why the enemies weren't spawning in. It's because I had it on peaceful. Um, also, make sure that you're doing this on the Xbox One edition and not the other version of Minecraft that's on Xbox One, the Bedrock edition that came out later because this code will not work on there. Um, I also recommend activating the bonus chest so you start off with some equipment and then most likely you probably will not do this in the first try so I recommend disabling autosave so you don't have a bunch of save games clogging up your um, save data um, and in this run and that I did do it without dying it took me a couple tries to get the uh, footage for it um, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys the whole thing interrupted best case scenario um, also when you spawn in um, you're roughly going to spawn in in the same spot right by this mountain um, you can either land spawn on the bottom or on top but your chest is always going to spawn in on the very top um, and when we spawn in right here we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the woods lands mansion that's where we're going to be going to kill the evoker and to get the totem from him so we can get the achievements feeling ill for killing the evoker and cheating death for dying while holding the totem and getting our health back. So first thing you want to do is open up the chest and you want to grab the pickaxe, you want to grab all the food. I also recommend grabbing all the sticks and wood in there too um, just to make things easier on you. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get ourselves some cobblestone. Um, so we're going to go ahead and dig down. Um, I believe it's just uh, two blocks of dirt down. And every single time this will be exactly the same in this world. So go ahead and get yourself some cobblestone. And if you are having trouble surviving and you need to get iron armor and iron sword, um, from where I am at right now, if you go to your um, right, that would be the west of the map. Um, that would be the left. Um, the right next to the ocean, um, there's a cave, and you can go in there and find a bunch of iron in there and smelt it and make your iron and iron sword. Um, but I'm not doing this in this footage right here. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table. And we're going to make ourselves a stone sword. And I should have also made myself a shovel just to make this next part easier, um, but I didn't. So I need to get some building materials so we can build up to the upper floors of the mansion. And I do apologize um, if I um, sound hoarse. Um, getting over being sick, so I apologize. I just wanted to get this video out. Um, and I'm just getting over being sick, so. <laughs> Alright, so we want to roughly, um, you can max out your uh, building material, it's not necessary. And then after we're done with that, Then we can go ahead and head over to the mansion. There is a secret room in the mansion. I don't know, I'll be showing you that here where you can get a uh, diamond uh, chest piece for your armor. Um, definitely help you out with your survivability. And you also want to look out for um, 
skeletons, spiders, and creepers in the mansion too. Um, and the other enemy is going to be it's unique to the mansion. Um, I believe that they're called the butler. They have the axes and uh, they'll rush you. They're usually guarding the evokers. Um, if you get too close to the evoker and if you don't attack him fast enough, he spawns in these things that will kill you. So you want to make sure once you approach him that you attack him quickly. And so first thing we're going to do is go over to the west side of the mansion and we're gonna go ahead and go to the secret room right here now I also did make myself a axe too so recommend making an axe um, a shovel and a sword alright so we got the diamond chest piece right here all the air stuff you don't really need it um, there are other achievements you can go for in this world if you're still playing the game for the first time and you don't have a lot of the really easy achievements. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go over to the east side of the mansion. You can go to the floor, the third floor of the west side of the mansion, um, but I tried it a couple times and the spawn for the evoker changed. So with this time, I went over to the east side of the mansion to the second floor, and I was able to find them pretty easily. So you want to take your dirt, and you want to build up to the window, and then make yourself a little platform here. Now, with my other playthroughs, um, that I cracked the whip in, the windows open all the way and had some of the enemies run out towards me so that's why I'm kind of building a wall there but it was really unnecessary for what I was doing here. Um, also if you have in, in enemies by the window you can crack the window um, just one pane across and then hit the enemies with your sword through the window and they can't hit you. Alright so make myself a little platform there. I see one of the evokers in there and then but uh, he's really too far away for me to get in there. Now I went in here and luckily I saw one of the evokers, a second one, in the hallway. And I'm just, just trying to see if he's by himself. And he is, so I went ahead and got my sword, run right towards him, and get the kill as fast as I can. You know, when the butlers start attacking me right away, they're usually going to be guarding them, so... And there we go, feeling ill. Now that I've cleared the room, I want to go ahead and I'm going to jump so I can lose all my health. But first, you need to equip the uh, totem. And then, that when you die, you want to make sure that you're actually holding it so it brings all your health back for the cheating death. Um, since I had the armor on, I still had a good amount of health felt like I needed to build up a little bit higher to take more damage so once again take my dirt here and I just started just building up and you can just build up you know as how high as you want it doesn't really matter as long as you take away all your health all right and then first thing make sure you equip totem and bam there you go cheating death so I hope you enjoy the video um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with the sunset here in Minecraft thought it was a good ending and show you that the C code here I would uh, appreciate if you like and subscribe to the channel I am trying to build this channel up so all your support would be appreciated thank you and have a great day